This video will cover an example for the topic, Trigonometric Functions and Special Angles, Problem Type 2. For these problems, you will need to utilize the unit circle. Recall that the unit circle allows us to find the cosine and sine of an angle. From this, we can calculate tangent, which is sine divided by cosine. This topic will require that you take it one step further. You will need to utilize reciprocal inverse functions. Here are some fundamental trigonometric functions that you might use for this topic. Let's start with an example. We are asked to find the exact values. First, we should recognize that cosecant of theta equals 1 over sine theta. This means that we can solve for cosecant of 315 degrees by first finding sine of 315 degrees, and then taking its reciprocal, since sine and cosecant are reciprocals. Let's pull up the unit circle. We know that 315 degrees is in the fourth quadrant. Recall that the point where the terminal side of our 315 degree angle meets the unit circle is cosine theta sine theta, where x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta. Therefore, sine of 315 degrees equals negative square root 2 over 2. Substituting this value for sine theta, we get 1 over negative square root 2 over 2. Now we will simplify this fraction. How do you do that? We know that dividing by a number means that we must multiply by its reciprocal, so we do this. Now we have negative 1 times 2 over square root of 2. This simplifies to negative 2 over square root 2. But we are not done yet. We still need to rationalize the denominator. To do this, we multiply by the fraction square root 2 over square root 2. This simplifies to negative 2 square root 2 over 2. Now, let's solve the second expression. What should we do first? Well, I recognize that cotangent is equal to 1 over tangent theta. Correct. That's a great start. Looking at the reciprocal properties of trigonometric functions, we also see that 1 over tangent of theta is also equal to cosine of theta over sine theta. Let's use this expression to solve this since we can easily find cosine and sine from inspection of the unit circle. So we can start by writing cotangent of 315 degrees equals cosine of 315 degrees divided by sine of 315 degrees. What is cosine of 315 degrees? Is it square root 2 over 2? That's correct. What is sine of 315 degrees? Is it negative square root 2 over 2? Exactly. Great work. Now we can substitute these two values into the expression and write cotangent of 315 degrees equals square root of 2 over 2 divided by negative square root of 2 over 2. Now we need to simplify this. We know that dividing by a number means that we must multiply by its reciprocal, so we know that it's equal to square root of 2 over 2 times negative 2 over square root 2. Now we multiply numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator, and we see that we can reduce, or some call it cancel, the 2 from the bottom on the left fraction and the top of the right fraction. We can also reduce the square root 2 from the top of the left fraction and the bottom of the right fraction. And write negative 1. And now this problem is complete. 